Their job is to serve drinks, not to imbibe. A local push that would prevent bartenders from drinking on the job. Now on Local 5 News at 10. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Michelle McCormack. And I'm Tom Zalaski. Brand new tonight at 10. You might assume that drinking goes hand in hand with being a bartender. But as Local 5's Danielle Zolkowski found out, maybe there is too much of a good thing. And now there's a movement to clamp down. Alderperson Michael Smith says bartenders drinking on the job has caused too many problems in Appleton. There was one where they were called in and the bartender was in a fisticuff for an altercation with a customer. There was another one where they went in and the, the bartender was slurring their words. Another one where the bartender was after hours with the bar of people. So he's proposing a new ordinance to allow police to breathalyze intoxicated bartenders if officers are called to the business. If they go into an establishment and they observe the bartender act a little off key, then they can require a, a breath uh, test by Wisconsin approved system. He says if a bartender is above the legal limit, they would likely need to be sent home. If they're really out of shape, they could conceivably close the establishment down temporarily and try to get hold of the owner uh, or another relief to come in because that bartender is not in a capacity to do their job. This resolution is based off of one already standing in Nina. Mayor Dean Crawford says it's going well, but the only concern was how it would be enforced. They have to have reason. They have to have probable cause in order for them to utilize this ordinance. And so uh, in Nina, we haven't had uh, that problem. Smith says this ordinance will protect the business owners and increase safety in the community. In Appleton, Danielle Zolkowski, Local 5 News. Thanks, Danielle. That ordinance will come before the Safety and Licensing Committee this week, and it could be in front of the full city council next week.